What's up guys, it's Kalen and Big Boy and Baby over here. You might remember a previous video where I grew a completely natural water bottle out of one of the world's first cultivated plants. And if you thought that was cool, well buckle up because today we are taking our gourd game to the next level. There was a comment on that video from Sam and thanks to it being the most liked idea, today we're gonna to be creating an awesome looking lamp from a bottle gourd. Let's first dive into how all these gourds came to be. <laughs> I do have lots of them to choose from because I've grown more of them in the last few seasons in the food forest and it's been cool letting them scramble over the ground and climb some of the trees on their own. The flowers are really beautiful too, unfolding in the evening and into the night where they attract nocturnal pollinators like moths and they help to enhance the overall biodiversity of the garden ecosystem. As they transition from blossoms to bottle gourds, they each develop a unique shape and character, which really adds to the excitement about the garden, especially when you can start to get curious and inspired about the creative potential that each gourd has. As summer gives way to the colder temperatures and frost, the gourds enter a natural curing process. And throughout winter and spring, whether they're left hanging or on the ground resting on the wood chip mulch, the water content inside of the gourds decreases and the outer skin gradually hardens. And during this period, sometimes you'll notice mold forming on the outside as they dry. And this is part of the natural curing process that happens under some conditions, and it's not harmful to the gourd at all. In fact, it's what's responsible for the creation of unique patterns on the gourds, which I think enhances the visual appeal and the uniqueness of each one. To make sure the gourd is fully dry and cured, you're looking out for sort of a hard and woody feel and making sure there's no soft spots. It should also be fairly lightweight and when you give it a shake, the seeds inside should come loose and rattle around and the gourd should sound hollow. Okay, so for the lamp I've chosen this gourd here because I quite like its shape and the patterns on it are pretty cool and it's also a size that should work pretty well. After soaking it in water, I'm scrubbing the outside with some steel wool to remove any of the mould and dirt on the surface. Now that it's dry, I've got some rough sandpaper to give the outside a bit of a sand. And I'm following that up with some finer sandpaper to get it nice and smooth. So I need to cut a hole in the bottom of this to clean out the seeds and everything inside. And you could just use a hole saw for doing this, but I just bought a new rotary tool for these projects which I want to try out. And it came with a bunch of different attachments for things like engraving, polishing, sanding, carving and drilling, all that sort of thing. It's going to be pretty handy for this project and it's also got this flexible shaft that means you don't have to hold the whole tool either. You can just use this part like a pen for the more intricate and detailed work. So I've drawn a circle on the bottom with a compass as a guide to cut around and I'll leave some details in the description if you want to see where you can get one of these tools. And they're actually much more affordable than I was expecting. Wow, look at all those seeds. And these can be used to grow more plants next year. There's actually so many in here, it's quite surprising. There's also a bit of this dry membrane that comes out too, but I'm just gonna put some of these stones inside and shake it around to try and dislodge anything else on the inside. Okay, it's looking pretty good. So just a quick final sand around that edge, and I'm giving it a clean with some water before getting into the creative design of the lamp. It does need to dry first though, so let's quickly go for a walk and see if we can find a piece of wood to use as the base of the lamp for the gourd to sit on. Down here there's some dead trees and logs lying around, but I'm trying to find something the size that I need. Whoa. I've just seen exactly what I'm looking for, and possibly one of the easiest places and positions to saw a slice of this log off. I reckon this piece should work perfectly. Have a look at this eucalyptus leaf I just found. It looks so cool with all of those little dots there as it's decomposing. This has given me some ideas for our design. So let's head back and see what we can make. So I'm starting off with using a pencil to mark out my design and I've decided to draw some hanging eucalyptus leaves, but you can get as creative as you want with this part. And it's also just handy to have an eraser too if you make any mistakes. So I've done the drawing and there are many ways to make gourd lamp designs but as a beginner I've decided to do a kind of simple design. 
I'm just doing small holes along the pencil lines that I've done, which should illuminate the pattern that I've drawn when we put the light inside. And you could do this just with a drill, but I'm using the rotary tool again for this, which is much easier to be a little more intricate and careful with getting it how I want. This is the first project I've made using this tool and also the first DIY lamp I've made. And trying new things is something that I value a lot. It keeps me energized and inspired and makes life a bit more of an adventure. And speaking of trying new things, a little while back I found myself facing some challenges in regards to my mental health and I knew I needed to do something different and find a new approach to self-care which led me to starting therapy with BetterHelp who are kindly sponsoring today's video. I know for many that starting therapy can be hard, the right therapist for you might not be in your area and some people find the face-to-face -face interaction of therapy uncomfortable. What's great about BetterHelp is that they've got over 30,000 therapists in their network, which gives you access to a wider range of expertise than what you might have in your area. It's easy to sign up too, you just fill out a questionnaire that helps assess your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with a therapist, usually within a couple of days. What I really like is that it's completely online and you can talk to your therapist however you feel most comfortable, whether that's via video chat, phone call, or even messaging. There's a link in my description, it's betterhelp.com slash thekiwigura and clicking that helps to support this channel but it also gives you 10% off your first month with BetterHelp so you can try it out and see if it helps you. <laughs> For me starting therapy wasn't just about tackling the issues I was facing, it was also about gaining a fresh perspective and acquiring tools and insights to build a stronger and more resilient version of myself. If you think you might benefit from therapy and you want to learn more, click the link in my description or visit betterhelp.com slash thekiwigrower for 10% off your first month. All right, let's get back to the video. So for the rest of the holes, I'm using a slightly smaller drill bit to get a bit more detail in there. And although this footage is obviously sped right up, in the moment it was a pretty mellow and enjoyable activity. So now that's done we'll work on the base of the lamp and I'm just creating a groove from one edge to the middle and then drilling a hole through the middle and this is for the cord to sit within. I've also decided to go around the edges and just peel the bark off as well to give it a bit more of a finished and clean look and then following that with giving it a sand to get it nice and smooth. Next up I'm using some tongue oil to give a natural wood finish to both the gum tree base that we made as well as the gourd. Tung oil is made from the seeds of the tongue tree and it will soak into the wood protecting it and adding durability while also bringing out the natural beauty of the wood. Just make sure you do this in a well ventilated area too and don't leave any of the cloths or rags that you use piled up somewhere because the oil can actually heat up and spontaneously combust causing a fire hazard but there should be instructions on the product about this too. After around 30 minutes I'll come back and just buff off any of the excess oil, then let it dry for about a day. Okay guys, now everything is dry we can quickly put together the lamp. So I've got these sticky dots here to just put on the base, and this is totally optional. And then we'll just put the cord through the base and attach it onto our light bulb. I'm using an LED light bulb and I just went to a lighting store and asked for a setup like this and these put out very little to no heat so they make it a lot safer. Last thing to do is just screw this down onto the base and you can see how the cord sits nicely in that groove we made. Alright it's almost time for the big reveal so let's get the gourd and put it on the top. I've got this bit of blue tech that I'm just putting around the base so that the lamp has something to stick down onto. <laughs> oh my gosh look at that. Ah, oh, this is so incredible. Look at the patterns on the walls. This has turned out so much better than I was expecting. What a beautiful lamp. And this is so cool that this grew in my garden and with a little bit of effort, this has turned into something so beautiful. And can you imagine like all the different possibilities and designs that you could make? You could get so creative with this. And it's so cool that each one would be completely unique. What a cool project. That was so much fun and I'm so, so pleased with the result.
I've been working on some other cool gourd projects which I can't wait to share, but let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas because I have plenty of other gourds to work with. Anyway, don't forget to check out BetterHelp, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.